there was the nature of a connection and relationship with your mom's level with him and you, he had privied information about you and then he was able to use that to be able to then bring you in. And absolutely. And what was it like to go from like this counseling mm -hmm. to when it became abuse? Can you help us know that? Yeah, it, it was uh, above all very, very confusing. I felt um, immediately, uh, well, on the day of the first abuse, very much frozen. I was not understanding what was happening, uh, even though it was he was explaining me these contradictory, contradictory uh, ideas as he was, you know, touching my body all over during a treatment. So it was a healing session, and during which he began to to touch me. How informal can I go there he was like a fondling my right breast and I was like what's happening right now I was completely you know on a the free stage in certain uh harm harmful situation we can go into fight flight or freeze and freeze was the one for that one occasion and he would explain as as he would do that that you know energetically whatever place he was touching would uh, have, you know, an opening on my neck or, you know, it would release uh, some other something somewhere else. It was basically, well, yeah. he, what I call, it was brain framing me. Mm. I, I was in shock. I did not know what to do. And, and that was, it, that's what was happening. While I was still in shock, he also proceeded to let me know things like uh, you and I have known each other for lifetimes and uh, I remember you and meeting you under the wisdom tree, some, some I don't know, under the wisdom tree and uh, finally we've seen each other, we have met each other in this lifetime. And it's like the wisdom tree once again and uh there's no you know age is not important under those circumstances so you and i are finally back together and um we can continue to do our work and i'm, I'm just, you know there in shock listening to this dude that I thought was some sort of parental guidance, someone I completely trusted with everything I believed, knew the truth. And I'm like, is this, is this, this is this true? Because I, I couldn't even, I couldn't even read my own feelings at that time. I wanted at some moments to kind of leave but he had pinned me down and he started to in, instill this programming. He said that he rec recognized me the very first time he saw me on the sadhana field the, at the yoga festival. That's uh, the first time I was there, I was 13 years old. Mm -hmm. And then I remembered, oh, he started grooming me since back then because, you know, Every time I would meet him at the classes, every time uh, that there would be, you know, little moments, he would always, you know, call me, oh, princesa, oh, linda, oh. And he knew what kind of story I was coming from. I was very, you know, my, my self uh, image, self concept was very low. I didn't have a father figure to, you know, protect me, to nourish me, to guide me. He knew that he could do almost whatever he wanted. Um, I remember walking into his classes and before all of his students, he would just pay extra attention to me and, and make me feel good, which felt good because I always felt like shit. I felt that I was unheard, that I didn't really matter, that whatever I would speak was not really heard or valued. And he, there he is, a person that is 
validating me in whatever way he did. And then, so, so those were years where I built up such a, a trust in this, in this person. And I, during that long length of shock time on that day, I wasn't really sure what to do with the information that was being given to me by him. I absorbed it. Um, also, he made sure to tell me something that just messed me up completely. He said, we have been lovers for, um, for many lifetimes. You and I cannot be lovers in this lifetime because it's not allowed. So he already starts like messing with things. However, he put his hands all over my body, he kissed me and things like that. And then he also told me that this had to remain completely secret, completely secret, because I was the only one, because I was special, somewhat chosen, blah, 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 blah. And that if I told anyone, he would tell me that I, he would tell everyone that I was crazy. So basically I was choked right here. He put a huge framing in my head. I don't like using brainwashing. It'd be nice if it was washing, but no, it was a frame. And, and there I was having to deal with such a, um, it was such a magnitude of a situation with, you know, my 17 year old really shitty tools to deal with it. What am I going to do? This man is a married person. He has children. He sees tons of people. I, you know, I'm a 17 year old kid and somehow this person is telling me all these things. What am I going to do? So I left. I was confused. I remained confused. I kind of, for the initial time, I went along with his leading with his leadership, you know, okay, fine. We will see each other and he will, he will, he was putting it under the, the, the fake name of healing. You know, he said that we were healing something that we were healing my situation. So he keep, he kept framing it that you would keep having healing sessions with him after this time when he kind of did this whole brain frame and then it, it violated yeah. you he continued, he said, you will continue to come have a healing sessions. And was everyone sexual? It, yes. I mean, it was, it was, so it was more, uh, more confused than that. It wasn't, he did, he did frame it as healing. And then it would, he would proceed to let it go be, beyond what I feel healing should be looking like. It was always, I remember that, you know, like intercourse, intercourse probably happened twice over the period of a year because he always kept it, you know, like mm, he had, he held it back. I don't even know why, just maybe to, to keep things. I have no idea what his motives were other than the fact that, you know, there was for sure plenty of, uh, um, of four, what I would call foreplay. So that just was, for clarity, yeah. he would fondle you. Would he be naked himself? Yeah, sometimes. Like, yes, so that he would be naked. And he would have intercourse with you sometimes, he but had. it was kind of like he was quote trying to hold himself back from that finale, but he was doing almost anything else. He was definitely doing every anything else. Uh, um, he would always have some sort of like. Um, um, it would stage a situation. It would always use the elements to protect our space, um, or, or you know, whatever he thought would protect our space, and then things would happen. We slept well, together. He's framing times. it as in healing, so he's using healing language to frame an atmosphere that then allowed him to do whatever he did. Yes, that's correct. So keep that going. more than that, it, it, it just confused the shit out of me because. You know, I, you know, I was following his lead, thinking that he knew that he was, you know, somehow seeing a bigger picture than I did until, until I started to question things, you know, 
and I remember vividly one time uh, I, I just directly asked him, look, man, you are every weekend in a different town. Are you really, truly saying to me that I'm the only one? Because, I mean, the question popped in my head several times. And the way he answered me was with a question was like, do you really believe me to be that person? And obviously I was like, oh, well, no, of course not. And then what does he do? Like second moments later, he just puts me on his knees, pulls down my pants and, and starts spanking me, telling me that he is, uh, what did he say? Oh, he was resetting my nervous system. I was just so humiliated. I, from then on, the, the question marks kept like, avalanching in my head i was just what is going on with this human being so <sighs> i'm disgusted i know I, that's what i'm left with setting your nervous system what yes. first of all gaslighting 101 right think, right what do you mean you think i might be the person that does that yeah. That's gaslighting. It's answering a question with that with a question to make yeah. the other person feel like they're crazy. Yeah. And then you said the next thing you know, he puts you on his lap, pulls your pants down, and spanks you. Yeah. I know. I mean, <laughs> disgust is uh, all that I'm left with from that experience. It's like Jesus Christ. 